This is our flower bed. We have sunflowers. Uh, there's a wildflower mix, and it looks like some of them are going to bloom soon. They finally have buds. And I also have dill in this garden, which I planted behind the wildflowers because I saw a picture in the book Seed to Seed where the dill was really high, so I thought it should go behind the flowers so it wouldn't shade the flowers, but now I think the dill is probably not getting enough sun because the flowers are a lot taller. Um, but some of the dill seed went to the front of the flower bed as well, and this one's getting pretty big. That one. And it smells nice. Down yet? Smell? Mm. And over here I also have garlic in a pot, my only potted plant. This is my vegetable garden. At the front you can see a lot of mustard. And I'm actually starting to harvest that and eat it now because it's crowding out my pepper plants. What? And it's also starting to get some insect damage, which might be because it's What's a little overcrowded. There? You see here I found a little green worm on one of them. Is that? I can see it. Oh. I can have it. Mustard is supposed to purify the soil. And it's good to plant potatoes the year after you plant mustard. Because potatoes need clean soil to grow in. Uh, so I just planted the potatoes and mustard together. Also at the front we have sweet potatoes. Uh, the sweet potatoes were grown from slips that I bought at the market. And they're getting pretty long now. Uh, this little pepper plant, it's a red hot cayenne. I started it from seed inside, and it's the only plant that I started inside that survived. Bye. And these are pepper plants that I bought. I bought some of them at the market and some from another gardener. Uh, behind the mustard we have the potato plants which are starting to get flowers. They're getting pretty tall. Uh, the potatoes are grown from potatoes that I got at the grocery store and they were starting to sprout so I just buried them. I tried to grow potatoes last August so I could have a winter crop and nothing happened. I read in the book Carrots Love Tomatoes that watermelon likes to be grown with potatoes. But if I had known that the potatoes were going to grow so tall, I probably would not have planted the poor little watermelon behind the potatoes or they're not getting any sun. I think these might be little volunteer tomato plants. Uh, they look like tomatoes. They smell like tomatoes. Last year I had a Matt's Wild Cherry tomato plant and it had tomatoes on it again when we had the first freeze. So I just kind of left it in my garden while it snowed. Most of the weeds that I get are maple trees grass and clover, but I tend to let the clover stay because I think it's pretty. I do pull up the grass though because it attracts cutworms which are a pain in the ass. And these are carrots and basil. The basil is a little spindly this year. Now here's another basil plant with flowers. Now you have to take the flowers off because they make the plant bitter. And here's a little dwarf tomato plant of Elliot's. It has three tomatoes on it right now. And the bigger tomato plants are also getting tomatoes. And tomatoes. Yeah. And the tomato plants are bigger than my son right now, except for the dwarf tomato plant. They're going to be taller than me pretty soon, too. That's like me.
Tomato flowers are self-pollinating, so you, they don't need insects to help them pollinate. Um, but it does help if you shake them a little. And this is a little protest sign that my friend Jocelyn made for my plants last year. And this is my slug trap with a beer. This is my lettuce, which something seems to be eating. It looks like it's getting trampled a bit as well. And this is where I planted my beans, corn, and squash. I had some trouble getting the corn going because of cutworms. I think uh, next year I'll plant the corn first and wait for it to come up before I plant the beans and the squash because they're shadowing the corn right now. This corn seems to be doing better than the corn that's on the other side. Uh, more garlic to help with insect control. Oh, there's rosemary here. And this is my sage, thyme, mint, raspberry plants, lavender. Beans are flowering. Cheese. No, you don't have to say cheese. It's a video camera. I'm filming you.